This uh, collection here has taken me about five years to paint. And it, it came about because I was working here in 1979 with the orchids. And when it was time to retire, I was asked would I paint them instead of plant them. And so um, I said yes, I would do that. And it's taken me about five years. These are some of the uh, orchids that I've done, which will be shown at the exhibition. Um, this is a, a, a dendrobium. Slipper orchid, I think these are probably one of the most popular orchids there are because of the, the little pouch that looks like a slipper. Well, I think in the five years I've done probably a, um, here, I've done nearly 300. I think it was because of when I went to school in England that we had to do what they called a nature notebook. And we had to paint something from nature. And I quite enjoyed doing that. And, and I love nature. And I love to walk along the road and look on the banks to see what there is. To be a botanical artist, you have to be uh, very observant. You need to be able to look into the plant, into the flower, and find out what there is there. When I first saw the slipper orchids, I said, oh, I must draw those. I must paint that. I have this terrific urge to do it because it appeals to me. I like to look at the actual flower because when you take a photo, as much as these cameras are very good and take detail, but there's always shadow somewhere which covers something that you want to paint and you're not sure if it's just a shadow or whether it's part of the flower, especially if you haven't seen the flower before. Well, the color, this is a difficult color, but you just try mixing if you know your colors. You see, if you look close, you can see the veins. So those have to be put in as well. But I would say probably green is the color that, that gets used the most. We mix, if you mix blue, that blue, and then with a touch of yellow, then you get a green, a different type of green. And it depends on what blue you use and with what yellow as to what type of green you get. You can get many greens out of mixing. You can see that there's no way that you can hurry with these paintings. It's very time consuming and you have to do it slowly, otherwise there's no point in doing it. You go over and over and over again. I think what art is a, an expression of oneself. So it's just as well we're not all alike. Keep on producing a variety of things. But do your own thing. That's the thing, not try and copy somebody else. The only time you can do that is when you're a botanical artist and you copy the flower that sits there. <laughs> I hope that in a hundred years, some of the orchids that are sitting in the herbarium here at the farm um, will not be extinct but unfortunately a lot of them are becoming extinct. If you think about the fact that orchids are the oldest living flowering plants on, on the earth and were there with the dinosaurs time then I think this hope will continue. It's important that we record these and by painting them I'm recording hopefully what they really look like in the future when people want to know what a certain orchid looks like, they can come here to the herbarium 
and say I want to look at Cymbidium Silence, what does it look like? And they pull out my painting and say, ah, oh, that's it, that's it. <laughs>